This is the third segment of the Wine Challenge. Summertime in Sag Harbor with Dave Sauklin of Sauklin Wine Merchants. The guy's throwing a major curveball here. I've never done this before, but 94 points or more, $70 or less, that's uh, quite a challenge. Let's see if you can pull that off, Dave. That's I think you're really going out there. I'll, I'll, I'm going outside on the point curve, but uh, I'm going out on the quality curve too. So look at the color on this. So it could be anything, any great red wine. 70 bucks, um, that's a big, uh, you know, that gives you a lot, of, a lot to work with. But it's really making the choice. You can, 94 points, you know, I don't give 94 points that easily. Let's see. Mm. Wow, rich. Oh, this is sexy, really juicy. Look at the juicy. color. This white, this white is really good for this. Look at it, it's intense. Check that out. Whoa, it's sort of a lead pencil berries, currants, and it's starting to sort of change from just primary fruit to sort of tertiary fruit, where you're getting some of the leather, right. meat. Right. Oh, it's so delicious. This is big time. I just want to drink that. This is, it's a drinker. Yeah, I'm 94 points on it right now. Right. But I want to taste the other two just to calibrate. Right, it. right. Is that okay. okay? Yeah, no, it's good. I think there's, I mean, this is a serious wine. Wow. I think you've given this wine, I think you might have given this wine a higher score in the past. We'll, we'll see. I think you're being tough on me out here in the Hamptons. I, I, it's just because it's just not nice enough. You know, I prefer being in an office. Like being in my metal just, building? You know, just, you know, with, with yeah. cases around, not with this beautiful view. You know, I'm feeling guilty because it's just too nice. Too nice? nice. All right. Wow. Good that you gave it some time because uh, you will be able to calibrate with this the rest of this flight. Two. I'm not saying a thing about this. Nothing. No hints. Chestnut. Berries, plums, walnuts. It says Italian to me, but maybe I'm wrong, like pro loco. I don't know. It's really delicious. And, and I like the tannin, silky. Hmm. Then it changes, and you're getting a, you know, it's sort of pulling on your palate from the tannins, but there's wonderful complex character on the finish. Maybe even a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I don't know. It's gorgeous wine. That's. Really serious, scary. really serious. These are serious wines. We didn't, we, you know, we're playing to win. I'll give you one hint about this tasting. No, no, no. Okay. I'm not even no, about it. You it's are a wine I really... You've probably given it a higher score. I think you're being tough on me today. I know I'm just, you know... All right, all right let's go I'm through this. 95 is a great score. It is a good score. I'm very and happy with like, it. Where's the steak? Very is happy. the barbecue going? Is it ready? We're going to the American Hotel later. Okay. Well. All right. Wine number three. I buy them. Okay. Good. I, I accept. That's expensive. Hmm. Hmm. Plums, orange peel. Whoa. This one's more intense Earth, than you'd expect when you'd meet. It's really complex, showing some age. Again, I'm, again, Italian, I think, but. Well, I love the, the quality of the tannins. That juiciness right. and then silkiness. But it's super penetrating. It's super penetrating. Long. I'm really thinking of all three now, trying to figure out where they all fall together. Again, I think you made it. I was worried you could make your goal 94. Right. All the wines are clearly 94 or more. Right. And it's really deciding where it all falls in, what. Uh, and the last one is sort of a subtle 
uh, shy wine, but that finish it lasts for so long. The, no the nose doesn't indicate how long it's the, it's going to go yeah. in the mouth. Yeah. Chewy also, more Brunello like, but oh, I really like that. Really long. I'm getting weak at the knees. These are so three fabulous wines. I want to taste the first. You want to go back to the first one? Okay. I'm in. That's a little bit younger than the than two or three one. I'm gonna give you a hint now that you've, you're done. No, no, you're oh you're done anyway. Oh, because you gotta give me the scores. final scores. There's I'm you've got to try them too. Two. These are great. Grab a glass. We've got to get the guys in the background to try this. Absolutely. This is pretty high octane, too. Great tasting. Remember, these are under 70. 70 is a lot of money, but for really high scoring, you know, ready to drink wines. People always spend that much on restaurants. I'm wine number one, mm -hmm. 94, two, 95, three, six. Okay. Well, thank you. Let's get yeah, into this. Like, it's big. It's big. Thank you. We, really, um, really wonderful wine. Well, the, I, you know, first of all, the common thread of this, of this tasting, Italy. Italy. Yeah. Same vintage. Whoa. Here we go. All right, oh, right now. I think Santa I Ponte Aurelio. 95 originally. Yeah, I think you so gave it 95. Plus. You gave it 94 this Drinking time. Drinking beautifully now. Like, like what's the drinkability it. curve on this one? Well, it's just, I would say I would still give it a year or two. It's just starting to be drinkable with a big juicy steak. It would be good now. Right. But I think it deserves a little bit to, a little bit more time. Right. Um, 59.95 though. Wow. Not 70. Okay. Wow. We're in your wheelhouse here. I mean, you, you called it. Parts Reserve 06. Excellent. I was 95 on that. Whoa. Isn't that gorgeous? I was thinking more almost Barolo because of those tannins, but actually the wines are showing beautifully. And fi the final? And the final, uh, the Caparzo is actually, is in, in the 70s at 79.95. Okay. Fine. Fair enough. Um, so it's a little bit more expensive. Yep, we, you may have to discount it now. Might have to. You know what? We're discounting it to sixty nine ninety nine. Are you? We have to. We have no choice. <laughs> it's sixty nine. Did it's you hear that? On online. They, but they your have special. To. Your special mention James Suckling, and it's yeah. You have to mention the show. Up. That's that's a deal. That's cool. I'll stick with that. And lastly, Sassetti. Sassetti. Reserva O six. So we had two O six Reservas. Those are killing. It. Caparzo and Sassetti. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So you gave this 96 points. Let's get the price on this. Wow, loving it. Wow, two great Brunellos. 69.99. Well, you have two Reserva Brunello 69.99, and yeah, you had to drop the Caparzo, but on the spot wines, discounts. It really showed 06 amazing vintage energy. Yeah, great tasting. Thank you, James. You did it. Thank you. Thank you.